begin the reassembly by greasing the inner lips of the shaft seals. With the seal installing tool, you can press the shaft seals into place. The lips of the shaft seal need to face into the body here. The other shaft seal needs to face into the inlet nut like this. Now slip the o-ring over the threads of the inlet nut and apply any seize to the threads. Press the shaft into the three bearings. Be sure that the pressure is added to the inside race of the bearings when putting these bearings on the shaft. The inner race should sit flat against the shoulder of the shaft. Replace the port screw and insert the fill tube into the body through the lip seal. Fill the body with about a half inch of fluid and then take the shaft and bearings and put them into the body. This will push out the fill tube. After you have done this, you should check the fluid level and be sure that it covers the top of the bearings. Replace the outer centralizer. Install the high pressure seal and brass seat and inlet nut as demonstrated earlier. Cover the threads of the shaft with Teflon tape and screw on the head. If you find that you are experiencing rotational speed problems, you may look at sizing the jets which eventually wear out and understand that these tools are easy to modify in order to accommodate different pump sizes and hose lengths by simply replacing the jets. Stone Age offers all the parts and tools seen here individually and in kits to help you with your repair and we can also provide a comprehensive operator's manual for your tool.